Well, I meant to take video of it, but I forgot. But we got the light down. It didn't get zapped. That's a good thing. So now we're going to um, start cutting the seam because I only want to take the sheet I'm taking down, which is uh, basically where the light was. So I'm just going to go across this joint and just kind of follow the joint the best I can. Joint scored for this one piece we're taking down. Um, I have a flat bar, but I can't find it. So right now, the screwdriver's going to have to work. The screwdriver and hammer. So we're just going to kind of start in one place and just kind of rip it down. Whatever comes down, kind of comes down like that. All right, so as you can see, I got the drywall up. So I finish up some nails, and then tomorrow I'll finish the spackling. Okay, drywall is completely nailed made sure all the nails were dimpled so I could spackle went through the all the rest of the joints and uh, cut it with a razor knife and scraped out all the drywall so that I could re-spackle and retape all the joints properly so we're ready for spackle all right like I said day two drywalls all nailed up make sure all the nails were dimpled so I could spackle and I got that all along there is mudded all the way up to the wall so that's all I've got done so far Some holes patched there and there and then once those dry that wall there actually is going to get completely skimmed with drywall um, so I can paint it because I tore wallpaper off of it so next weekend um, I actually have a three day weekend um, so I'm gonna actually get a whole lot done next weekend um, but I did find a new way to sand, um, actually wet sanding works excellent. I would highly recommend it to anybody do drywall instead of paper sand, do wet sand. Uh, matter of fact, next weekend I may take some video of, of me wet sanding so that you can actually see how it's done. Still a, way, a long way to go, but like I said, we're, uh, we're getting there slowly. Okay. Working on the kitchen again this weekend. Uh, Sunday is the only day I got to work on it this weekend. I had other stuff. Um, got almost all the cell sanding done. Um, like I said last week, um, I'm actually wet sanding. So I actually said I'd take some video and show you what uh, wet sanding is and how it's done. Um, so just got a uh, bucket of good warm water and use. Uh, sponge with the green side and then a regular sponge on one side and just dip it in water you want it just above damp you want just uh, not quite uh, wet wet but just a little bit about damp um, actually I use just a little extra water but um, knock off some of And then just wet it. And then use your green side to take off what you want. And get a nice smooth surface. Now I've got a lot of cracks, so I'm trying to use the excess to fill in, but I'm probably gonna have to go back and uh, fill in the cracks. Oh. Probably use just a little bit more mud than I should have, but man, these this house is so old. Everything is so uneven. I'm trying to get everything even to make it look good. Um, I've actually kind of given up on the ceiling a little bit. I mean, it's going to be what it's going to be. I'll make it look as good as I can, but uh, I've been like three weekends now, spackling and, and sanding and spackling and sanding. So. Uh, I don't think a lot of people are going to be looking up at the ceiling anyway. So that's basically how you wet sand. So I'm going to go ahead and do some more up to the refrigerator and 
all that back there I'll get next week. I took a break a while ago from um, sanding and because uh, I'm really anxious to paint so uh, <clears throat> I went back and got my uh, two colors and the purple is what's going to trim is going to be in and out of be the red stripe I just kind of slopped that up there just to see what's going to look like um, the other reason why I did it too is on the trim I'd actually talked about um, getting some stripper and strip it but this project's taking way too much money and way too much time so I think what I'm going to do is uh, some spots like right there and like that and just kind of sand it out the dimples and stuff and then um, <clears throat> just go ahead and paint it so and that's what the stripes gonna look like my my tape didn't do too good of a job on the um, stripe but I might not have it on there a hundred percent so I'm gonna get that or I have to get some different tape so that's what everything's gonna look like walls are gonna be white and then, of course I'll have the black and white checkered uh, linoleum on the floor so we're getting there slowly. I still need to get up with my electrician, get that switched out there to over there and get that taken care of. So I'm hoping in another two weekends, hopefully this, I'm going to start. This is the playing. piece of uh, sample I got today from Argo's Linoleum. Uh, this is what I want to put in the kitchen. I just want to see what you all thought about it. So do a close up. I said the kitchen is going to be a 50s style diner. I wanted a straight checker, but that's all they said they had. So, give me y'all opinion. Let me know what you think. Alright, actually I flipped it around because I had it the wrong way. This is actually how the roll would, would unroll so that's actually what it's going to look like not much difference but the checkered diagonal would be a little bit different so like I said uh, let me know what y'all think